I thought I'd come back and do a follow-up on this stereo. I wanted to show a little bit about this OBD Fusion app. I originally tried to get the the Torque app, which I did get working. It was just the the uh, Bluetooth uh, reader that I had that wasn't wasn't the correct one. This is the the one I have is a Bluetooth low energy, and I had to order a different one right here. This is the the one I ordered for the for the um, Torque app. The Pan Long is the one I got to work with the Torque app, and it connects works with the torque and it it got going but i don't have it connected but i'll just show you i didn't like torque here's the i don't like the the interface and i didn't it goes up and down like this and there's i didn't like the gauges and i couldn't find the gauges i liked and i couldn't figure out how to set it up like i wanted so i just said the heck with that and i you know went back to the one I was using before which is OBD Fusion and I went back to my old Bluetooth uh, OBD2 reader and it's a Bluetooth low energy reader and what's cool about it is uh, here I'll show you you just touch turn on the the app and it'll come up here and there it opens and then it automatically connects so it you can do that in the settings and I will show you here in a minute now it's connected so you can go to your dashboard and see your gauges and stuff but if you want to set that up you go here to settings Here, let me let me get the camera a little closer. Okay, so I had to move the close the camera a little closer. So here's the the settings, and you go into communications right here, and this is how you set it up for automatically connecting. So you go to communications right here, and this is where you choose. And I have it on Bluetooth Low Energy right there. And they have a uh, regular Bluetooth, automatic car adapter, Wi-Fi, and a USB. So you just turn that off and you go down here and it says, uh, you know, don't have to mess with that. Start with last connected protocol and connect silently. And you want to do this one here too, where it says try unsupported PIDs. And that's uh, that'll be important later. I'll show you why. So you just get back out of the settings here, and this is your dashboard right there. And I will go into that. So you just push and hold, display. Whoops, display. Uh, whoops, I hit the wrong one. Sorry. Push and hold, display configuration, and then just tap up here in the top, and then you can change the name of it and I'll just put short term fuel trim and then a dash bank 2 okay and there we go change there so those are short term fuel trim and then this one I want to change to the long term so I go display configuration tap on the name right there and it takes me to the different options here so you go find your long-term fuel trim bank one. Tap on that, hit done, and then you can go right away up here and change it to long-term fuel trim. Whoops, LTFT, T, okay. And then you go long-term fuel trim one on that one. So I have short-term on the left, long term on the right and you have to learn how to read these you want them to be close to zero as possible they're gonna they're gonna fluctuate these are the sh in the short term these are like longer term it's kind of like uh, this would be your overall fuel economy and this would be your instant fuel economy as sort of an analogy so go over here 
display configuration. Tap on this, go to the, these, and then you want to do long term uh, fuel bank two. And you'll have to experiment with your car, figure out. I just figured out these are the ones that work for mine. So hit done. And then that's long term fuel trim bank two. All capitals, long term fuel trim and then hit OK. So here I have long term fuel trim bank 2 and long term fuel trim bank 1. And you can see the change if you give it gas. But you want to do it kind of either when you're driving down the highway at a, <clears throat> at a consistent rate and see what they are. And then I usually do um, the ignition timing tap on the name and you go over here and then you go just go through here and look ignition timing for cylinder one done done hello done so ignition timing for cylinder one okay so there's your ignition timing now right here so you have 19 and, and you can give it gas and it it advances so you can put whatever you want in here and then I usually have another uh, screen for the misfires although it's not misfiring so I probably won't bother with that right now so that's how you set up a gauge